In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can easily install Superbase, which is the biggest open source Firebase alternative out there. You can create a backend in minutes that can scale to millions of users. I'm also gonna walk you through securing Superbase with an SSL certificate and HTTPS in this video and much more. Let's go ahead and get started. And the fastest and easiest way to install Superbase is to use DigitalOcean as they have support for it. So you save a lot of time and they have a $200 free trial you can access below for free just by clicking the link. And after you signed up and you're in the dashboard and you've activated your $200 free trial, you're going to go ahead to the menu and you're going to click create droplet. Droplet is just a fancy marketing name for server that DigitalOcean uses. And then we're going to go ahead and select our server location. I'll just keep mine as is. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to click this marketplace tab and we're going to search for Superbase and then go ahead and select it. Once it's selected, we're going to go ahead and scroll down and then we're going to choose our server size. I'll go ahead and choose this $14 server, but feel free to choose whatever size you'd like. And then we're going to scroll down and you can add an SSH key or you can use a password and SSH key is more safe, but you can use either or. You can also enable automatic backups either daily or weekly if you'd like. And then I recommend you check this box right here that says add improved metrics monitoring and alerting. It's completely for free. It shows a lot of helpful graphs and information about your server. And then we're going to scroll down and here at the host name, you're going to go ahead and put your domain. If you have one, I recommend you use a domain because we're going to install HTTPS to secure the Superbase server. And now everything is set up and we're going to go ahead and click create droplet. Superbase is installing on the server. It may take about a minute or two. Now we're going to head over to our domain register and point the domain to DigitalOcean. I'm using Namecheap, however, it should be pretty much the same process for any domain register out there. We're gonna point our custom domain servers to DigitalOcean. So we're gonna go ahead and click custom DNS. And you're gonna put ns1.digitalocean.com, ns2.digitalocean.com, and ns3.digitalocean.com. And you're gonna go ahead and save it. It says the DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. However, it usually takes effect in a few seconds or a few minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the domain and connect it in the DigitalOcean dashboard. So we're gonna click the three little dots on the right side of the server instance and click add a domain. And we're gonna go ahead and enter our domain here and then make sure it's connected to that server and click add domain. Now we're going to scroll down and you should see four records. If you see three NS records and one A record, you should be good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and come back to our project and we're going to go ahead and log into our server using SSH and we're going to finish setting everything up. Go ahead and click copy right next to the IP address. Then go ahead and open up a terminal and type SSH space root at and then paste the IP address and hit enter. It's going to ask if you want to continue. Go ahead and type yes and hit enter. And now the Superbase script is asking for a domain. So go ahead and put in your domain and hit enter. And then it's going to ask for an email address. So you can go ahead and put your email address. And this is to get notifications about the SSL certificate when it's going to expire, etc. And hit enter. Now it's creating an SSL certificate. It may take a few moments. All right, it actually took about four to five minutes. However, now it has been successfully installed and everything is ready to go. And now we're going to get the Superbase login and password real quick. So we're going to type cat and then slash SRV slash Superbase and then slash Superbase again, Docker, and then env dot env and hit enter. And you're going to have your dashboard username right here and your dashboard password right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this password. And now we're going to go ahead and open up a browser. We're going to put in our domain name and hit enter. And then for the username, we're going to put in Superbase. And then the password, we're going to paste that password we got from the environment file. Click sign in. 
and boom, you can see we've successfully launched our Superbase dashboard and it's working with HTTPS and our domain. And now you're all ready to go. And if you want to learn more about Superbase and how to use it, I recommend you go to superbase.com slash docs. And they have a really thorough documentation page that goes over pretty much all the features and every single thing you need to know. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. And thanks for watching.